your relationships and the quality of them determine the level of peace, love, joy, and financial reward that you experience. For over 15 years, I have been helping companies improve their bottom line, increase their sales, improve the relationships with their customers, and improve the morale within the organization. I love working with business owners that have a vision, that know where they want to go, but maybe not all the strategies on how to get there. You know, it's not just about the business. Oftentimes when I'm working with business owners, what we delve into is what really brings them joy. And that's the personal aspect. That's balance. What do they want? They want to be able to take their business to a level where they can have more freedom to, to travel, to spend time with their family. It's not just one aspect, it's the whole package. The third step is the reaching out step because your relationships are so important to your growth and your success and learning how to communicate most effectively will help get you there that much faster. The fourth step is execute. Once you know what you are uniquely qualified to do, you know you want to take back control of your life, you work in your relationships successfully, then you have to take action. Create a plan and take action. Finding something big, how, I mean, how do you figure that out? That's, that's an excellent, excellent question. Does anyone here have an interest in having more discretionary income? Yes? Fantastic. Does anyone here have a business that they would like to take to a whole new level? Wonderful. Does anyone here have an interest, have a desire to have a loving, passionate, fulfilling relationship? All right, we're on the same page here. Fantastic, I love it. Everyone has a unique gift. And if you're frustrated or tired, you're probably not using that unique gift. So finding that is really important. And, and you I have, have a gift. I do. Hello and welcome to Community Forum. My name is Heather Hansen O'Neill and I am your guest host this evening. When I host a show, we focus on inspiration, connection, and contribution. I have seen some of your fantastic tall tales <laughs> that I think you start with a shred of some truth in there and then you elaborate so much that it becomes this intricate amazing tale and the way you tell it you incorporate your body into the story too <laughs> that makes it so funny and so were you always funny like able to be you know be able to be humorous or is this something you learned well i think sometimes i have a rather unique sense of humor <laughs> My most recent exercise in overcoming fear was climbing a mountain. I made the grave error in judgment of being pretty good at it the first time. So I go up the beginner slope and I'm kind of going and I'm, I'm feeling good. And I hear the guys that I'm traveling with say, hey, she's doing a good job at this. We should take her over to Dead Man's Cliff. 